Hello, this is Kim Huat, Singapore number one Microsoft Flight Simulator fan. Today, Kim Huat watched this video by Malaysia Minister of Transport, Anthony Lok Siu Fok, about why he was against the Serita Airport ILS over Pase Gudang's airspace. Wait, I show you a little bit of his video. Wow, the music a little bit dark and evil. Uh. Matiam like the action thriller like that. Uh. Well, wow, eh. does the Minister of Transport of Malaysia know how instrument landing system work or not? Anyone who has played Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, will know that the ILS does not work the way he says. Law. Come, 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 come. Kimo explain to you. Okay, Malaysia Transport Minister Lok, uh, he say, the distance between Serita Airport and Pase Kudang is 2 km. Hello. How you measure one, uh, the actual distance between Serita Airport, the runway, uh, and Pase Kudang Coast uh, is 3.1 km. La. Then he say, uh, because of the ILS, uh, Pase Kudang cannot build buildings higher than 54 meters, 3 km away from Serita Airport. And cannot build anything higher than 145 meters, 6 km away from Serita Airport. Oi, salah la. At 3 km away from Serita Airport, Building structures can be as high as 93.8 meters tall. And at 6 kilometers away from Serita Airport, they can be as high as 193.1 meters tall. Even Godzilla can walk around there and won't hit his head on the aeroplane, no? Godzilla. Hi. Aviation experts already told the Malaysia Minister of Transport uh, that his calculations for the height clearance uh, is already wrong. Why? Because he's using the OLS, Obstacle Limitation Surface Method. And ILS uh, uses OAS, Obstacle Assessment Surface Method, to calculate the minimum height. Anyway, using ILS does not mean that planes don't sell buildings. In fact, uh, there is already a 104 meter high Malaysian building. 3.7 kilometers away from Serita Airport. And planes still land safely in Serita. Then Malaysian Transport Minister Lok ah, kao pe kao bu about Johor airspace. As if suddenly got ILS, ah, then the Johor airspace is suddenly different. Whether got ILS or no ILS, planes still fly over Johor airspace. Planes have always flown over Johor airspace. How the heck do you think planes fly into Malaysia? And how high do you want the buildings to be at Pasir Kudang? Petronas Tower high ah. And even if you want to build buildings higher than Godzilla, you can still inform Singapore and discuss with us what. Anyway, uh, Singapore sent you this Serita Airport ILS thing uh, one year ago. Leh. One year ago. Leh. Give you one year, you never open the email, never reply, never call back. Give you one year. Leh. What you expect us to do? Really, leh, what you want us to do? Send you a fax. Uh, post you a parcel. Uh, send one of our ministers over to Malaysia and dance in a music video for you in person. Uh. You all better wake up your idea, understand? Huh? You all carry on like this, uh, we will send our transport minister over to Malaysia. Korbun one is very powerful one. When he prays our train system, uh, the trains will break down. Or you want us to send our MP Bay Yam King over to Malaysia? Huh? He will take so many selfies with your Pase Kudang cranes, uh, wearing his tight tight shirts uh, and his tight tight tank tops. Uh. You will be scared! Uh. Come on, uh. ILS uh, will make plane landings at Serita Airport safer for planes and passengers, you know, especially in bad weather. And it will benefit both Singapore and Malaysia. Hey, Malaysia Minister of Transport, Anthony Lok Siu Fok, don't anyhow measure the heights of the aeroplane landing flight paths. Hey, you want us to send our brainiest minister over? No? Taman, he's very good at maths. Leh. Oh wait, better not. Leh. Where are the sunshine on his shiny bota head? Uh, then reflect the light into the eyes of the people at Pasir Kudang that all go blind. Uh. Better not. Uh. Uh, Godzilla. Godzilla. Uh.